good morning. I'm here after New Year's. Hope you all had a good New Year's Eve. Um, we're just walking in the shop right now, actually. Let me let me turn this radio down a bit. What do we want to listen to today? Let's put some '60s on. Um, yeah, we'll listen to a little '60s. That sounds pretty good. Let's crank up our heater here. Usually come in, I turn the heat on, I leave it for a good half hour. So, uh, got to the gym today. I'm gonna try and do every day this month. My lovely friend's wife, Kathy, Dan's wife, we were drinking last night and she challenged me to, uh, um, to get on the treadmill and jog with her six kilometers <laughs> to see who'd win. He had to be there by 9 a.m. I got to the gym at 8.30. She showed up and found me at three minutes to nine. Oh, I was hoping she wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> I don't jog, okay? I lift weights, I ride the bike, I walk a bit, I don't jog. My knees are just done. You guys working on cars, you can understand why my knees are done. On cold cement all my life, my knees are done. Strange thing is, I used to be a runner in school, believe it or not. But that was way, way back in the day. Anyway, so she showed up, and uh, well, her and I are both the same, I guess, because she said, "If we don't have to do this, we can just call it, a, call it a, a, you know, let's call it even a walk away from this." And I said, "No, no, no. A challenge is a challenge, and I always accept the challenge." So, said, "Let's get this on." So, uh, well. I got on that treadmill and I walked. And I walked, started out slow, sped it up, sped it up, sped it up. I don't know, I had it up to seven, 7.5. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about a treadmill, whether that's good or bad. Anyway, um, get the compressor on. Anyway, uh, yeah, we went for it. The end of the day, she was gonna win. She's at the gym every day and this lady can run, trust me. She's just, she's in good shape. So, um, I think, I think we both agreed at the end of the day though, I didn't give it 110%. I know she didn't either, but we both were keeping, actually, if she's out there watching this video, she looked at the thing and I had a higher speed going and I was ahead of her by a little bit. Then you know if you're watching, Kathy, it's true. I was, because you were like, oh, there's something wrong with my machine then. <laughs> anyway. But um, at the end of the day, I will admit that she would win all day long. There's no doubt about it. I th but I thought that we agreed when we left, because we were both pretty damn even. I thought we agreed it was a draw. But apparently, according to Facebook, she puts a, a video up and tags me and says, she won, don't ever challenge her. <laughs> so that's there's a start to my new year. I got thrown under the fucking bus. So anyway, whatever. Oh God, it's all good. It's all good. Gotta love your friends. So anyway, what are we doing here today? Well, I don't know what the hell we're doing today, guys. I really don't know. This video is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be just a lot of talking and blabbling. And so I'm suggesting right now that if, if, if you don't wanna hear me talk and and, 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 and not see a hell of a fucking lot get done, don't be watching me today. Because I don't know what I'm doing here. Let, uh, get this son of a bitch uncovered. Oh, come on, girl. Uncover yourself. Let's get you. She's all tucked away here. She's all tucked away. Okay. Now that compressor don't sound good. It's rattling around in that room over there. Maybe it's coming, maybe the bolts have come unbolted on the floor or something. Okay, okay, here we go. Don't, ugh, fuck, don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I know one thing I gotta do for sure. My horn down there I put on is a piece of shit, it don't work, so I got a new one, which is sitting right there. Got one of me, some of them, got me one of them fancy Soul Cal Speed Shop horns. But that's what's already on there, and it don't work with a damn. But, it was on the car when I bought it, this one here, so, the new one will probably work. Well, let's presume it does. Shouldn't need a horn anyway. I mean, the car is going to be so loud and rumbly, you should know when I'm behind you. Um, I got to get this this fuel system figured out. I got to figure this, this situation out. So I got to, yeah, I got, God, it's been a couple weeks, right? Christmas just throws you off. I see I got a bunch of 
fittings and shit laying all over the floor. So I, I, I guess it's going to take me some time to figure out where I left off here. I don't really remember, to be honest with you. So, it's not really... Uh, excuse me. Huh, big yawn. It was late night last night. It was New Year's, right? Had to celebrate till midnight. Um, I got to figure out what I got to do, what, 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 what I got going on here. I don't, I don't know what I got going on here. So, but I, anyway, I got my heaters turned on right now. Is that one going? I got, I got my heaters turned on, so I got to let it warm up a little bit in here. And uh, what's leaking over here? What the airline's leaking? Son of a bitch, anyway. Uh, let's take care of that. Give it the old shot. There we go. That's better. So anyway, I'm going to take care of that. And then I've got some... Um, well, I'm working on the car. I'm going to do a few things outside. Uh, I'll show you here. I'll come outside. Like I say it's a boring video, so shut it off now. If you don't want to just listen to me chit-chat, turn it off. I don't mind. I bought me some... I bought me some spikes. Right here. Should have bought screws, but I don't know. I bought spikes. Don't ask me why. I gotta clean this shit up off of here. I wanna get this cleaned up off of here. Get that shit out of here. I can't send this shit. Anyway, and uh, I got these hubcaps they've been laying around here. These bar hubcaps. Nothing wrong with them. But they're laying on the hood of my car. So I gotta, uh, anyway. I got a bunch of hubcaps. I wanna hang those up today. Hanging them up randomly around the yard like I do. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I've got, um, I don't know where they're gone. You guys remember I had these, uh, oh, let's see if we can crawl over this frame and get over there. Fucking shit everywhere. Holy Christ. Oh. Yeah, my legs are sore from jogging. I didn't really jog. There's, uh, let's carry it away, cover it up. Anyway, so, yeah, these pistons. I want to hang these pistons back up. I had these pistons hanging up on the out. Originally, they were here, and then we extended this lean-to out, right? So I want to put one on either... Well, I need a post. I want to get those up today. Just laying there. Got to get them up. Get them up. They should be put up. So a start to doing that would be uh, uh, putting the nails next to them. All right, that's a good start right there. How's this old girl doing? I've been keeping her covered up. I had her running a while back. Make sure there's no pimpling going on. Make sure this cover's nice and dry. I had all this spray foamed, remember? So there's no drips or anything funky going on there, but sometimes I'm just going to peel the cover back a bit, let her air out a little bit. Because sometimes you put these car covers on and they sweat, even though they say they're breathable. Why is there a fucking cat print there? Maybe that's from before. Even though they say they're breathable, these things, I don't believe that shit. Because I've had these things before that customers have put on their car. And uh, they claim they were breathable, and then the bloody car is a pimple. So, but I keep a close eye on this old girl, you know. I look after her as if she was my own. She's not mine, she's Terry's, but he stores it here. But I look after her as if she was my own, so that's just what you do, right? If someone gives you a responsibility, especially on something like this, of all the history with it, you damn well. You damn well do your best to take care of her. There she is, right? You do your bloody best. So, yeah, so see, there's some of the, some neat things I got hung up over there. All right, kind of fixing it up around here a little bit. So I got to take this, uh, this lean-to here. It's all falling down. Just garbage. So I'm going to build that out. I'm going to rip that off of there this spring. Get that shed over there out of the way, and I'm going to, Build a new lean-to, but well, not lean-to. I'm going to build a new part, but I'm going to we're going to match the the roof line there and bring it out another four feet. So basically, this will come out even right to the edge of that shed wall there. It'll be a little bigger, and uh, yeah. Um, well, you know what that's going to do? It's just going to give me uh, more storage space to collect more shit. Yeah, just what I need, right? Anyway, so you can see I still got a a lump of. A lump of Mother Nature shit here. Snow. Anyway. I don't know why she can't keep that up on the mountains. I don't need to see that crop down here. It doesn't do nothing for me, but that's what she does for us. She drops her she drops her crop down on the ground, but anyway, what's what? So we've got a little bit over here. You can see, you know, everything makes a mess because you're all the rocks all over your plowing and everything like that, and you're you're doing what you're doing and uh well that's what happens. It just becomes a mess. So, 
neighbors probably thought I was crazy. It was uh, obviously yesterday was New Year's Eve, and I shot you guys a video. But I was out. I was out yesterday on my uh, on my deck here. If you can see my deck, this is where I hang out in the summertime, guys. This is my backyard. I'm home. So there's my deck. Uh, just just a little over 800 square feet, upper and lower. Anyway, uh, all over there, by my, by my around by my basement door goes down my basement. I pressure washed all that. Then I pressure washed all my deck. Then I end up going outside the gate, and that's my front driveway up there. That holds a good, I don't know, it's like two, three cars wide. Probably holds a good ten cars. This is my driveway alone. Pressure washed my whole driveway. And of course, there's my carport. That holds three vehicles. And we got a little workshop in there. Uh, so, yeah. So I must have, I went crazy pressure washing, cleaning shit up. I don't know. I saw this beautiful blue sky. I don't know if you can see that. You can sort of see the sun coming through. Where the hell is the sun? Right over there. It's trying to come through. Anyway, you can see it's nice and blue skies here. Uh, I'm just, I, I, I hate winter, eh? I'm just done, I'm done with all the snow and crap. So when I saw a bit of blue sky, I got excited. And uh, I start cleaning the yard up because in my eyes, I think it's springtime where winter has just begun. So I'm going to be cleaning shit up out here today too. Uh, I'm going to be working on the car a little bit and cleaning stuff up. And that's why this video will probably suck. Um, but that, that's what I'm going to do because it makes me feel like maybe winter's not here. Um, it just, it, you know, it just I, I don't know. I like to jump in my hot rods and go for a cruise. And uh, uh, I like to see things that are going on. And I don't know, this, this cold, wet weather does nothing um here's some neat little things i got on my shop there a little tire patch kit and these are some some uh containers that first aid kit and that that I, i've got from friends that have given them to me so I hang them up outside right on here's our here's our heat here's our heating mobile right there that, that heats our shop inside what are we at right now mm, we're at 40 percent so i guess they'll be coming here this week and uh well i guess they'll be filling that bad boy up and giving me a big bill Anyway, yeah, so that's what's in there. Here's, here's this lean-to. It's just falling apart. I've been selling some of these engines off slowly. I don't need all these engines, but uh, yeah, i got to do something in here. It's just, you, I don't know if you can see that. It's just the roof is falling. It's caving in. Like, you got to be careful when you're in here. Who knows what's going to fall on you? Hey, have you ever seen so many exhaust manifolds in your life? Chevys, look at that. Look at the manifolds. Not a lot of people run headers, but there's a lot of times where you just can't get a header in. And these manifolds, they all have different curves and different ways of going, so um, they're handy to have. So when I go to swap meets and I see manifolds for like four or five bucks each, I buy them, just like pulleys. I see these pulleys for a couple bucks each, everyone laughs at me. Why would you buy them? you got a million of them. Sure as shit, though, they always get hold of me. Hey, Rick, you got a pulley that'll fit this? Oh, that's why I buy them, because you guys don't, and I do, and you always come around. Here's more manifolds. Look at these. Oil baths. What about the air cleaners? Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to use these. I'm probably not. I'm going to sell a lot of them off. Chevy valve covers. I don't even know why I got that many. don't need that many. Un unbelievable. Um, timing covers. I don't know why I have that either. Uh, thermostat housings. Fans. Uh, extensions. They go behind your fan. On your water pump. All different lengths. Uh, tranny mounts. Motor mounts. All sorts of brackets. Brackets, brackets, any kind of alternator bracket, any kind of pulley. I don't care if it's Ford, Chevy, Dodge. I don't give a shit what it is. When I see them at swap meets and they're asking like 50 cents or a buck, I don't even know what they're off of. I buy them and bring them home because you just don't know what you can use it on one day. All right? You don't know. But I want to clean this room up. I got to get it. Headers. All these headers you see around here, pretty much all of them are Chevy, but I've there's headers everywhere because I get these headers cheap. I find these. Uh, where's some other headers? I thought there was more than that around here. What the hell? Someone been taking my headers? One set, two set. I thought there was four sets in here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're hanging in the other shop. They're around here somewhere. Any anyway, oil pans? Got to keep oil pans. You never know. Never know when you're gonna bottom that bad boy out one day. All right. Anyway. Anyway, let's uh. Oh fuck, no wonder it's cold in the shop. I don't close the door. I'm like mourning a barn, right? Let's check it out. Okay, well, first things first. First things first, what did I tell you? Yeehaw! Coca Cola in a bottle. Now, my buddy Dan's out there watching. Dan, Dan actually is Kathy's his wife. So, we said we were going to have dry January. And we're going to have dry January. I'm not going to drink a thing in January. I know a lot of you know me. 
you watch these videos and I I tell you I drink this and I drink that and I drink all sorts of stuff well I've been known to drink I can drink don't get me wrong and I never get hangovers I do not get hangovers it doesn't matter how much I drink how late I stay up how much I mix my alcohol I, do, I wake up perfectly fine the next day so I don't know what's with that but I just I wake up fine but anyway um, yeah we agreed it's gonna be dry January we're not gonna drink he said he was gonna do it I really don't drink a lot anyway. I honestly only drink on Friday and Saturdays. I usually, I never very rarely drink during the week. I just don't, unless it's like a birthday or a special occasion. I just, I just don't. I work during the week. I've got to go to work. I'm not interested in drinking. I don't go in the house like some guys and drink a six pack every day. I, I, nothing wrong with that. I just don't do it. I'm just like, no, I wait for Friday and Saturday and have my fun and away I go. Uh, but Dan said he was going to do it and I thought, you know what? Alcohol to me, I, I I don't care. You could say you have to quit drinking for the rest of your life right now, and I'd be like, I don't give a shit if I ever drink again, right? So uh, I thought, you know, it'd be kind of nice. Sometimes when, you, when you're doing something, it's nice if somebody else is joining in, and I thought, you know, maybe for Dan, it'd be nice if I said, hey, I'll join you. Why not? I don't, I don't care. So, uh, um, yeah, we're not going to drink. We're not going to drink. And I know Dan will be able to do it. I know for sure he'll be able to do it. I have, I have, I have complete confidence in that for sure. So... Um, that's it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just been babbling to you for how many minutes now? Fucking 16 minutes and ain't nothing been done yet. So I don't know guys. I'm going to uh, crack that Coca-Cola open. Uh, I got to clean the shop up. Like look at shit like this. This is the stuff I've been, I've been neglecting. Like look, look at that. Right, look at that. Jesus God almighty. I got I to gotta clean up. Woo, that heat feels good. Oh, ho, 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 that feels really nice. Anyway, um, it's starting to warm up in here. So we'll get her warmed up and... Uh, I'll play with the car and I'll crack, I'll crack the video open again here in a bit. I'll turn it back on. Uh, obviously, I don't have a stand. I don't have a GoPro. I don't have any of that stuff to, 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 to lead the camera going so you can watch me do this. And uh, um, it, it is what it is. So uh, that's it. So I think I'll go over there and uh, check out the old beast. And we'll, uh, we'll start playing with her. We'll start playing with the with the Model A. Oh, anyone out there that's watching, okay? I got these. You can see right here, Firestone. Um, they're a radial. They're a 155R15. All right. I bought them. You can see. I never used them. You guys all know. I just mounted my rims on them. I'm not going to be using those. So they're up for sale. I got to look and see what I paid for them. I'm obviously going to take a little bit of a loss. What I'm going to do is see what I paid for them, and uh, I'm just going to sell them for what I paid for them. But I, I'll, I'll, I'll deduct the tax. So if I, if I paid, if I paid 200 bucks, if I paid 200, let's say a tire plus tax, I'll just sell them for 200 a tire, no tax. So I'll, I'll lose a little bit. And so, and I know you're probably like, oh well, you got to give me a better deal than that. No, I don't, because if, if, if I don't get what I want, I just hang them up in the shop here, and I will use them one day on something. But right at the moment, I'm not going to use those. Uh, I, I've gone a different route, so uh, those tires are up for grabs. Unfortunately, a lot of you are probably American, and I, I don't ship. Uh, but if you're Canadian and you're local, you know I'm in Chilliwack, and uh, you, you let me know when they're up for sale. Okay, enough talk. Let's go drink that Coke and let's get onto the car. See you in a bit. Okay, well, uh, welcome back. What I mean by back is I had the camera off and. <laughs> I didn't get much done. Um, been on here for five hours. Didn't get done what I thought because I had left the top of the cowl off of the car on the Model A, thinking I had left moved everything low enough to get every, everything to fit. And um, I had fit the cowl on the car before, but I never had the wiring and stuff in it. So you know where this is going, right? So anyway, what I mean by cowl, I mean this piece here. So I got to fit it on there. I just set it on there right now. I set it on there, but I should have had it on there when doing the wiring because what happened was it was rubbing and hitting up against a lot of stuff. So I had spent a few hours moving stuff around under the dash. Yeah, not that you're going to see the difference here, really. I'll get the light in here. But, you know, I had to, like, I had to bring these wiring, wires down because they were, they, were, they were higher up. So I had to bring all that down. And uh, I had to change a few things up and even over in there, you can't really see. It, it's pretty hard to show you what's going on, but uh, yeah, so hours flew by. Felt like days, felt like weeks, I don't know. Oh, well, the good news is I still got some 
Still got some soda poppy left, right? Um, I did get, I did get my, uh, my pistons hung up outside here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Look how dark it is out now. Okay, can you see them there? There's one piston, two pistons, three pistons. I got those all hung up. So I did get those hung up out there. And uh, got a bag of garbage bagged up. <laughs> you know, got, got, got that done anyway. So, uh, something, you know what? You know what, guys? Oh, get in, that. get in there. Something is always better than nothing. And that's what you got to remember. When you go outside and you go to work on your car and you think you're going to get a full day's of work, a full day of work in it, good eight hours in it, you ain't. You're mistaken. <laughs> anyway, the point is, is don't be upset when you go out there for eight hours and you, and you have to just mess around and, and, and you feel like you only got two or three hours in because you still got two or three hours in and that's, what, that's the main thing. You got something done. The slightest thing you do is a step forward in the right direction. I'm not overly panicking right now where I'm at here today. I wanted to be a little, I had a few more things on my list that I wanted to get done that I didn't. But that's okay. Because I got something done and I'm happy. And uh, it's all good. That was the worst of that when that came along. So, um, yeah, well, whatever. Shit happens. All right. So, uh, anyway, that's what she looks like with the cowl on. I mean, we're sitting on there. I'm going to pull it back off. you got to put like a, a wind lacing and a rubber underneath there or whatever they whatever to seal her up right but very happy with that yeah. yeah again you know it's a 1931 model lace I mean nothing ever fits 100% there's a there's a lacing that goes in here like a beading like almost you you guys that know these cars know what I'm talking about um, I don't know whether I'm gonna paint this on the car or off the car the more I think about it now I was gonna have it on the car and paint it but I just went to put it on, and uh, it actually went on easy. I don't know what was going on. I think maybe because the body was off the frame before, and I kept trying to put this piece on. I was having just a bitch of a time to do it. It was like I had to pull the quarter out and, and everything to get it in there. And I was like, oh, my God. It's going to scratch the shit out of my car when I go to paint it. How am I going to do this, right? Uh, but the more I think about it now... Uh, now the body's bolted down. The body's spread out where it needs to be. It must have opened the gap up there somewhat. Because now the thing fits in there just like a... It just drops right in there like it should. It's it's just snug. Where before it was right, ridiculous tight. Almost took two people to be fitting it in. So uh, that almost tells me I could paint that sucker off the car and get paint. You know, that's, that's the best solution there, I think. Which is alright. I don't know. That might be the answer. I gotta think about this. I do a lot of thinking. Right. Anyway, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Whatever way works for me, works for me. Whatever works for you, works for you. The main thing is, is that it works for you. So who cares, right? Anyway, told you it was a boring video on Sunday. I got something done. I'm super happy. And I'm even more happy because tomorrow's Monday. And guess what I have finally done? I've ran this business out. It's been 21 years I've been self-employed in Old Time Garage. It's been around 21 years. And uh, I've decided that Mondays are optional. I don't work Mondays no more. I just don't work them. Semi-retired, sort of. Uh, I work Tuesday to Thursday, get my eight hours in those days. And Friday's only uh, four to five hours. Mondays, I'm just off now. I told the boys. The boys have no problem with it. Don't call me. Don't bug me. Customers, I ain't here. That's all there is to it. And um, Mondays are free for me, so that's kind of nice. You know, I'm usually done work Friday by 2 o'clock. Um, and then I've got Saturday off, Sunday off, and now Monday off. And I, I, God, I feel so much more relaxed today because I'm always, right now, it's like, I don't know, I think it's like almost 6 o'clock. And I would be like, oh, shit, I got to go in, have a shower, eat dinner, go to bed pretty quick. So I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. I don't have to go to work. The only thing I got to do is get up and go to the gym. Anyway. Hey, Happy New Year, all of you. I hope you had a good New Year's, and uh, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for watching. I promise the videos will get a little better. This one didn't have much to show you, but we'll get there. Hey, it's always a good time at all time. Catch you next time.